Want to keep your energy up and stay on track with your fitness and still have fun at those summer barbecues and festivals all summer long? Who doesn't, right? It's all about the choices that you make and a little planning. You probably figured that out. Uh, before, but before we get into all this great stuff, I do want to say check out TalkToPerry.com because if you're looking for summer energy and really to keep it on track, so you're hitting your goals, but still enjoying all of the festive things. Let's connect. Quick 15-minute chat just to power up your summer. TalkToPerry.com. And I do want to welcome you to another Power Blast podcast where we provide nourishment for the soul, allowing you to transform from the inside out, providing rapid results in mindset. That's big. And fitness so that you can recharge that mental and physical battery of yours and reclaim your power. Wow. Okay. I've been doing kind of this um, uh, on the audio version of the podcast where that's kind of more of a daily show. Um, I've been talking about kind of a summer series where it's helping people with mindset strategies and some other, you know, fitness strategies, food strategies. So I thought I would do a little bit of a mashup here um, uh, just to help out not only the podcast viewers here, but also podcast listeners. So if you missed any of those episodes, you can condense some of these things um, because while some of these things seem really, really easy to do and like, okay, I know that already. Um, it doesn't mean that just knowing translates into action. And a lot of times, at least for me, a lot of times it ends up being just that reminder can help me systematize. Or sometimes you hear something in a little bit different way. And you're like, oh, now I've got it. It, it. It's all clear to me. So I'm going to just share with, with you some of these things. All of these work. All, all these things work. And if you combine them together, you're going to have an amazing summer. I started doing this uh, like 20 years ago. And um, I, I would have never guessed that 20 years would have gone by and I would sustain uh, healthy lifestyle habits and still be able to enjoy all the things that I do. But it was just making a committed decision was the very first thing and taking responsibility as opposed to external blaming, saying I got a to-do list, I have so much, I, I have so many things going on, um, I, I can't do this because of, and I would point the finger at different things. Well, I really wouldn't point the finger, I would just you know rationalize things away. When I stopped doing that and just took responsibility and said, you know what, you got yourself to drifting off course, you can get yourself back on track really quickly and just stay on track. Not not ever have this off the wagon, on the wagon sort of thing. So the first one is hydration. Very, very smart. Water first. I, I adopted that um, and I do water before I'm, I'm eating dinners, uh, water right away in the morning uh, because it, you're dehydrated overnight. But just even having water bottle with you all the time, which you may do, um, but to consistently drink it. A lot of times people know they should have more water, but don't actually do that. Um, especially if you're going to head for outdoor events, staying hydrated or have some cocktails, it, it can help you prevent overeating too. So it's keeping you hydrated, keeping the organs uh, going, keeping your energy up, and you're doing this. Another one, uh, just choosing wisely at events, you know, going for the vegetables first. I know, we want all the temptations and all the good stuff first, right? Um, not to say that vegetables are bad things, uh, but go for grilled veggies, lean proteins, healthy fats, all the stuff do that at your parties as opposed to gravitating to the mindless munching sort of things um, because you know once you start eating that, you'll, you'll be having handfuls over and over and over again. Just balance your plate out. Uh, mostly veggies, some lean protein, uh, obviously the water. But then as you get into that routine, like if you're going back for seconds, do the same thing. Um, and that can, you know, especially salads. Salad seems like I think such a no brainer for the summertime um, and it can help you stay on track. Another one is morning movement as far as a morning workout routine. Now I do that year round. Um, even though I work from home and I can set my own schedule and I can sleep in as late as I want to, 6.30 is my workout time. It just sets a tone for my day and it's just become my ritual. Um, but for those that may say, I've, I'm too busy, I've got so much stuff going on, 
go for a quick jog, go for a power walk, do a, a yoga session, do some stretching, something to start your day with moving your body can really perk up your, uh, your energy, your metabolism, help you throughout the rest of the day. And I get it. It's very easy to tell yourself, I'm not a morning person. Well, that's a story you're just clinging to. And when you're challenged on it, some you'll try and defend it. Oh, I'll prove it to you, you know, sort of thing. But you know what? Prove it that you're not. I'd say for the next 30 days, I'm going to do mornings. And anyway, I'm going to test it out and see how I do. At the beginning, it might seem awkward, might be a little resistance, but eventually you get your routine. You'll be like, oh my gosh, what have I been missing out? So mornings are a great way to do that. Sun protection, obviously, if you're getting out there um, uh, doing those things. Cool down workouts, uh, you know, a lot of times just staying cool during those hot days, uh, even when you're getting some workouts done, maybe it's swimming, so, some sort of thing, maybe it's water aerobics, that, that sort of a way to beat the heat. Portable snacks is another big one. I I was doing that um that, that used to be just part of my, my lunch is just, I would, you know, I, I was a meal prep guy back when I was, um, I was a meal prep guy back when I was, um, going, driving to and from work all the time. But I found myself needing to meal prep on Sundays so that, um, so that, that I, I wouldn't just try to wing it throughout the day. So you can do this. I, snacks like almonds, dried fruit. Uh, those are perfect even taken to festivals or things like that. It keeps you from giving in to temptations. And I know we can totally rationalize, well, enjoying the moment, being in the, in the season. But if you do have some goals, just really take a hard look at or you know, just a radical look at what your choices are and what you're giving into versus what you're really going for with your with your goals. Mindful eating is another big one. Listening to your body, uh, don't eating and don't eat until you're full. Just like hey, when when I'm not uh, well, stop when stop when you're full. I guess is uh, you know instead of like oh my gosh, I'm I'm just I'm hungry. I gotta uh, keep going. Um, overeating is very, very easy to do at different events throughout the summer. So just paying attention to your hunger, that's where water can kind of come in and, and do the things for you. Uh, resting and recharging is another big one. Uh, the power of a good night's sleep. I know the daylight, it, days are seen longer as far as the, the daylight goes, and we can sometimes cut our sunshine uh, short, or not sunshine, but our sleep time short. And... Summer activities can sometimes wear you out. Rest and recovery is important. Um, staying socially active is another big one. I mean, you, you know, you've got your workouts, but what if you got into a league of some sort? Maybe it's um, golfing league, softball league, some volleyball, or something like that. It can be really, really fun. Mindset. I mean, I'm all about mindset, keeping a positive outlook. And summer should be relaxing and fun and not stressful. Well, I'm kind of, as I say that, I don't think any time of year needs to be all that stressful, although we do put pressures on ourselves for certain things. But it's all about enjoying the events without needing to overthink it. And so why go to an event to where the rest of the week you're feeling guilty about what you did or what you ate at that event? Why not feel good about the event and the rest of the week? That That's what I'm thinking. Um, so and to keep your energy high. And that's why I say hop over to talktoperry.com. And because so many of us, we're like, we go about our lives like we are a six-year-old smartphone with 2% battery life and no charger in sight. And, you know, we're kind of in a scramble for some energy. And I want to help you reboost that battery of yours so that you can uh, reclaim your power. And I want to hear your goals, what things you're struggling through. Uh, what, what's become an energy drain for you. And I'll tell you within 15 minutes of us talking together, which direction is going to be the best for you, where you're going to get the best results so that you can really boost that energy of yours. I'll give you my power of five strategy. And I often say, you know, you tell me what your goals are and I'll tell you how to, to, to achieve them. Talk to Perry.com is where that's at. So use these strategies over the summer, over the next few, uh, test them out for the next 30 days. 
and then the next 30, the next 30. See how your summer goes because you can still hit your fitness goals, your nutrition goals, and still enjoy the festivals and the barbecues and all the things that go with it with an approach that seems sensible and um, guilt-free for you without compromising uh, the things that you're going after. So let's make summer one to remember with all the right reasons, right? Uh, and just know you can choose your, to use your power to take control, use these strategies, or you can let the rationalization, the excuses, the justifications, negotiating with yourself. Oh my gosh, I do that too. Um, you, you can let that control you and drain your power. It really boils down to deciding and committing to yourself and your goals and then choosing to figure out new ways, looking at possibilities, learning and growing and keep moving forward. You've got this, my friend. I'd love to hear your top takeaway from today. You can drop those down in the comments. I promise I will respond. You absolutely rock, my friend. And as always, remember, it's never too late. We'll see you next week. That's another Power Blast podcast in the books. Thanks so much for tuning in. And remember, when you are ready to recharge your battery, make sure you go to talktoperry.com. That's talktoperry.com. That's P-E-R-R-Y. And I want to listen. I want to hear you know, what's going on? I want to help you in that 15-minute call to recharge your battery and reclaim your power so that you're off and running and creating massive momentum toward your dream. Also, every day, I am delivering more motivation, support, tips, and strategies inside my free community with amazing people uh, like yourself. And we are conquering the mindset and the fitness. I do 52 weeks of free training in there, plus I coach and I mentor people, as well as give you access to tons of resources and guides. It's called my Upside Down Fitness Community because we work on a lot of mindset stuff, the inside stuff, and we're a fun group of people striving to make healthier habits in this awesome chapter of life. So uh, make sure you get in there. I promise you'll absolutely love it. Just head over to UpsideDownFit.com and you can get into the group. And hey, you would be an awesome friend. If you get over to iTunes or wherever you listen to your podcast and leave an honest rating and review for the Power Last podcast. It helps awesome people like you find this show even faster. And that's who I'm looking for, awesome people like you. That's all I have for this week, my friend. And it, just to let you know, you absolutely rock. That's all I have for this week. I'll see you on the next Power Blast podcast. And always remember, it's never too late. We'll see you next week.